let me know who you got. In... Hercules Mulligan. You got Hercules Mulligan? I got Hercules Mulligan. No way. I got Hercules Mulligan. That's awesome. Holy crap. That's amazing. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for another adventure? I started recording. <laughs> My brother's playing the Roblox Alexander Hamilton game in the background, and I'm here to talk about the upcoming Back to School campaign, which is to be expected to be the next thing. It's not summer, at least based off of this live stream that they did a very long time ago at this point. Um, I think it was supposed to be this and then summer. Uh, let me just check. Okay, okay, I double-checked, and it looks like on the stream, the way it made it seem to be announced that they talked about Ilya, and then they talked about Summer. So I'm going to assume that this is next. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. My brother also pulled another Hercules Mulligan while that time that I was looking up to see, hey, what's next? Anyway, so let's talk about the banner itself. Uh, let's go here. So this is based off of the Prisma Ilya Light uh, movie release campaign, except for it's going to be back to school themed. Some of the back to school theme stuff that's going to be in it is probably going to be, they said there was like an exclusive thing coming to NA that will help both new players and returning players. So we're just going to have to wait to see on that. And when I see what that is, I'll make a video and talk about that. But for now, let's actually talk about the banner itself, which has Ilya, Miyu, and Ilya again. So, and also it's important to know that Ilya will have her strengthening and Miyu will have her strengthening as well. So let's go into it. First of all, Miyu. Uh, Miyu is a super crazy limited unit. Um, if you care anything at all about Miyu, it doesn't matter what I have to say about her unit. It doesn't matter that uh, she's pretty bad, but um, that doesn't matter. If you want Miyu, this is your best chance to get Miyu, and you're just gonna have to try and get Miyu. That's, <laughs> that's the end and the long and the short of it right there. Uh, this is what she does. She is a caster. She has one quick, three arts, one buster. Her active skills are cheerful type, mystic code, younger sister A, increases on arts performance for three turns, increases all crit damage for three attacks, three turns, arts is 30% up, and crit damage is 30% up, and it's for, uh, five turns, and that is again, for her. Second skill, Maiden's Willpower B. Grant self gut status for one time three turns. Grant self debuff immunity for one time three turns. And she revives with 2000 HP. And her third skill is Wish of the Child of God EX. Charges one ally's MP gauge and increases their buff success rate for three turns. The NP up is 30% and the buff success rate is 40%. And her passive skills are Magic Resistance B and Infinite Mana Supply B. A pen skill, third skill, is an anti-ruler attack damage aptitude, and her noble phantasm has been upgraded when she's going to be coming out. So this is a, the bad version of it, and this is now the much better good version. The rank EX, grant self protection of uh, Sakatsuki regeneration buff for three turns. Um, this charges the party's MP gauge by 20% for every turn for three turns, increases party's attack for three turns every turn for three turns, and then also recovers their HP every turn for three turns, and the demerit has been removed. And the heal is 1,000 and the attack is 10% at level 1, and if you get her all the way to MP5, it's 2,000 and 20%. And then the protection, uh, which gains critical stars every turn for 3 turns, it is 5 crit stars at overcharge 1, and if you get it all the way to the final overcharge, it's 25. If you want to know what the old version of this did, there was no attack increase, you had a 500% chance of dealing just 3,000 damage to yourself for no real reason, and there you go. And that's Miyu. Uh, there's not a lot to say about Miyu, other than she's not very good. Um, yeah, there's there's no easy way to say this. There, there'd be it'd be better if she was good, <laughs> because I have Miyu and I would like Miyu to be good. But this buff does make her NP at least a little bit more playable. Um, if they if they give her some buffs later down the line, she could be made into actually a pretty good support unit. I think. Um, just somewhere down the line. They just need to do more for her. When you compare her to like Fujino, who was the one that was released right before this, she doesn't really compare a whole bunch. And that's a shame because a lot of Ilya fans really like Miyu and a lot of them were really hoping for Miyu to come into the game. And then when she did, she was not really the unit that is probably what they expected or worth the wait. But you know what? Sometimes it's enough just to have your favorite in there. So... Best of luck to the Miyu fans that are going to be summoning for her. And again, they did get a strengthening, so they do understand that she's probably a little bit on the weaker side, and hopefully they continue to do that. 
Now, let's go on to the other two banner units. One is Ilya, who is Ilya but Archer and four star, who is a limited summer servant. Uh, she is an archer, two quicks, two arts, one buster. Her first skill is high pressure A, increases on quick performance for three turns, increases on crit star absorption of quick cards for one turn, and then increase crit damage for one turn. 20%, 500%, and 100% crit damage for that single turn. Second skill, uh, it's a shame she only has two quick arts. Second skill, Summer Vacation Child A, grants self invincibility for one attack three turns, increases on MP generation rate for three turns, increases the attack of child servant allies for three turns, 30% and 20%. Uh, MP rate is up is 30%, and if you're a child servant, 20% attack. Third skill, Regal Shower B++, charges on MP gauge, increases on critical uh, critical damage for 3 turns, 70% chance uh, to recover on HP by 500 every turn for 5 turns. The MP up is 30%, the crit damage is 50%. She's dealing 150% crit damage with quick cards for a single turn, which is pretty... Uh, Oh, actually, no, just in general, 150% quick damage for one turn, and for three turns it's just 50%. That's pretty funny. Passive skill, magic resistance A, independent action B, infinite mana supply C. Third skill is an anti-archer attack damage aptitude, and the rank A, noble phantasm, is a five hit quick, ignores evasion for one turn. It is called O Maiden, become a rainbow, or prisma splash rainbow, <laughs> deals damage to all enemies. Uh, the damage is 600% at MP level 1 and 1000 at level 5, and then it increases on quick performance for one turn, increases arts and buster, and it's 10%, 10%, 10% at overcharge 1, and at the final overcharge it is 50%, if you can get it that way, and that's Elia. Um, I think this one ends up being okay. Uh, I don't use her very much nowadays, just because I don't have very much reason to use quick when I have... Buster and Arts, but that's only because I spent like two years doing nothing but quick farming. So <laughs> you can give me a little bit of pause for not wanting to go right back to quick after doing it for like two years. Um, but yeah, from when I did, was able to use her very briefly, which is during summer, I thought she did perfectly fine. She kind of has what you need for a quick servant i feel like at least in the current state of na which is that she has the ability to charge her own mp gauge and if that fails she has the ability to kind of have mp generation on the side as well which because a lot of quick servants end up falling uh, apart because they just don't have the mp generation rate or they don't have the ability to increase their mp gauge to get them over that small little hump at the end um and her noble phantasm hits five times which is a decent amount of times and yeah I think she's a perfectly okay, serviceable summer unit and definitely usable. Is she probably the top of the top? I actually don't know that, because I don't know that much about the current state of Quick, to be fair, at least on NA. Um, but from what my experience from using her, she did her job, which is being able to loop, and that's pretty alright. I did was using a kaleidoscope though, so maybe I don't have the best gauge on, on that right there. Feel free to tell me which, how she actually is, so just so I know going forward. But based off of this, I think she's perfectly okay and actually usable and good, which is what you would want for the most part for a summer unit to be, to be honest. Summer units usually come in two flavors. It's not very usable and oh my god, this card is very good. And I feel like Ilya, it leans lies more to the very good sign as opposed to the, well, at least I have my unit I like in a summer outfit. So there you go. Ilya. And finally, we have the final dude on here. Which is Ilya, uh, the caster, 5 star, and she is 1 quick, 3 arts, 1 buster. Our first skill is Cheerful Type Mystic Code A, increased buster performance for a single turn, 50% up. Second skill, which has been buffed, is the Shining Towards the Future A, uh, which grants self invincibility for 1 turn, increases on MP generation rate for 3 turns, and then charges her own MP gauge by... Uh, by uh, 50%, and the MP rate she gets is 28%, which is nice when she has three arts cards, actually. Third skill, Suspicious Medicine A, 70% chance to grant one ally gut status for one time three turns. They really want Miyu and Ilya to be used on the same team. 70% chance to grant them debuff immunity for one time, it recovers their HP, and it's 3000 HP recovered. Her passive skills are Magic Resistance B and Infinite Mana Supply C. Her pen skill is an anti-archer attack damage aptitude, and her noble phantasm, which has been buffed, 
and let me see which one was the buff here I think the buff that we're getting for her is the buff to her yeah her the it was this one this one right here which is pretty damn nice as a rank EX Noble Phantasm, which is the Quantet Fury Multi Instrument Saturation Bombardment, it is a four hit Buster NP, increases on MP generation rate by 20% for three turns, increases on crit star generation rate by 20% for three turns, deals damage to one enemy, 500% chance to reduce on attack by 10% for three turns, and a 500% chance to reduce on defense by 10% for three turns. And the damage is 800% at level 1, and all the way at level 5, it's uh, 12,000. And then the increase to our Buster Performance, which lasts for a single turn, is 20% at charge 1, and if you get it to the final charge, it is 100%. And that's Ilya. And from what I can say, based off of my using her, I mean, if you watch that video I did with my brother where we used her randomly to fight a bunch of Hassans, she does what she what you would want, <laughs> which is to be a single target caster. How many people actually find use from a single target caster? I feel like not many. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of the very few people who kind of appreciates having a single turn, uh, single, uh, single uh, target caster to deal with, like big dudes for the most part i feel like most people just prefer to use berserkers or one of the extra classes that might have type advantage in that case over a caster who single targets but i don't know i've always liked them personally and i do like them for the brief times that you can actually use them in either challenge quests or really weird nodes it is fun to have and they are fun to use uh, Ilya ends up being a very interesting unit. Again, because she is technically Buster and not Arts, this ability here, it, on 6 turn cooldown, it can be used with um, Vich. You probably have to use that Mystico to bring her down a little bit. Um, so if you're actually a big fan of Ilya, which is, I assume, the only target audience for this Ilya, She'll, she'll do right by you. If you have Vich and Oberon, then congratulations. You can do all bunch of funny, silly things. And at the end of the day, isn't that what matters to you most? Then what <laughs> matters how everyone in the game kind of perceives her? So, yeah, that's another unit. This is another one that I'm kind of glad to have in the back burner for those random times where I actually can use her and take advantage of what she does. Um, this second seal was actually a pretty nice uh, buff to her. Hopefully one day they finish buffing the rest of her and this first skill, which is decent. Um, could be a little bit better. Uh, Skahawk has a version of this that just lets you have quick for 50% uh, for, for one turn, but that's targetable. This only gives it to herself, so I feel like it could be buffed just a little bit more. And the third skill, I don't like the percentage game. I understand that there are some other units that can be used to buff her, but, you know, self-sustaining units are typically better, <laughs> in my opinion. And that's the banner. This banner really isn't, it's, you know, if you have to ask me, should I summon, um, my gut says no, you really shouldn't summon on this. This banner is only for people who really, 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 really like Ilya, and for those people, you're gonna be served, right? Actually, funny enough, one of these CEs is really good, the Azure Magical Girl. I, I was closer to three max uh, limit breaks as opposed to the current like one that I have. I would actually maybe throw one multi just to s have a chance to finish this off. Because this this uh, craft essence is very good. <laughs> I really like it. It's a very uh, nice powerful one and it fits in a very specific niche for certain arts units that they can use. The only bummer about it is that at not a max limit broken, it only starts NP at 40%. And there's certain arts units that just don't have a charger that they can't take advantage of being able to go straight to 50%. So it's kind of annoying, but you know, whatever. I like the CE regardless. Uh, on the on this actual banner, I would say that this this CE is the number one unit that I would be going for, and then the second one would likely be the summer version, and then Ilya, and then Miyu as last. But for the actual Ilya fans out there who love Ilya. Um, and Prisma Ilya specifically, they're already going to be summoning on this. And to them, I wish you guys the best of luck. I hope you get your Miyu. I hope you get your Ilya. I hope you get your second Ilya if you're, that's the one that you're specifically going for. And tell me how you did eventually. Hopefully this banner should be coming out sometime after Nero Fest, And then I assume it's going to be like a week break and then summer. But who actually knows? I don't know. They were very, very vague on that live stream. 
Um, they just kind of said, here's what's coming up, and then they didn't really say anything more, and then Eurofest was already kind of happening during it. It was really weird. It was, th that, you know, as more time passes, I think it's safer and safer to say that was a weird live stream <laughs> for multitudes of reasons. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Again, I'll come back for when I actually hear more details on the back to school school event. Right now, all we know is like the base level stuff, which is like, um... Stuff like this, which is like, oh yeah, we'll have a special cured login bonus. We'll have missions related to it. Start dash login bonus reward stuff will be doubled. There will be a returning master's login bonus. Friend slots will be increased. There will be missions related to the friend slot. The super and great suck for servants and scratch absence come back for a limited time. There will be hunting quest part 11, and I assume after hunting quest part 11 is when we'll actually go into, um... Uh summer itself after that ends uh there'll be the ability to unlock the spirit dress for Ilya. um and yeah the question 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 mark is the one thing that nobody knows yet because they didn't they said they couldn't reveal it on the stream so we don't know and yeah that's the end of the video everyone thank you very much for watching happy grinding on nero fest and i'll see you guys in the next video did you get any other uh, dudes in roblox hamilton why me Hercules you got, Mulligans. You got 20 Hercules Mulligans?